Hey, attorney Jason Wachter here for Ride Free TV, and I'm here with a great old friend of mine, Jimmy Varner, of the Jimmy Varner Show. What is the Jimmy Varner Show all about? Real short, what's your, prof what's your profession? I'm a personal trainer and lifestyle weight management consultant, and the Jimmy Varner Show is a collection of tips, tricks, little entertainment, little infotainment on helping my uh, user, my um, viewer, to be empowered, inspired, and motivated to achieve their fitness goals. All right, so we thought I thought I'd bring us both together, and I'm gonna ask Jimmy, um, Jimmy, motorcyclists, especially when they ride for a long period of time, say on a vacation, over an hour, you know, their hands are outstretched. I know I got neck issues, my hands fall asleep, um, and we're in that seated position for a long time, you get tight. Um, and I also had a friend of mine that teaches sheriffs and stuff, and they were saying, when you want to look, you know, we want to change lanes or look, for, you know, look for maybe cars. You don't just turn with your head. You want to turn at the waist mm -hmm. so that you can see, you know, more. So maybe I was thinking maybe if you had a couple tips from an exercise point of view mm -hmm. or a stretching point of view to help motorcyclists out there, what would those be? Oh, absolutely. Um, a lot of times, if you think about it, whether you're a desk jockey, you're always on a laptop, or you're driving a lot, and as it pertains to uh, cyclists you're always internally rotated at the shoulder. So everything yes. through that whole frontal chain of the body gets really tight. Because what you do the most of, you end up, your body starts to almost fossilize in that position, which creates a lot of the orthopedic issues or muscular imbalances. So one of the things we can do to try to open that back up is to do a stretch, finding a doorway or a corner where you put your arms up into the corner and lean in and really open up that shoulder capsule, the pec muscles, your chest muscles, as well as your shoulders and getting that stretch, maybe 15 to 30 seconds, depending on how tight you are and doing that, you know, habitually, whenever you can get to that doorway, that wall and do that at least once a day, try to stretch for maybe three sets of that 15 to 30 right. seconds. I'm gonna have you demo that right now. Okay. In that corner you're talking about, show us what you're thinking. All right, so basically you're using the corner, like I said, you can use a doorway as well, where you just bring your arms up, placing your elbows and your forearms up against the wall, and leaning in to really open up that stretch. Now when you start with that, you might be really tight and just getting your arms up into that position might be a hard thing to do or near impossible. So if your elbows are a little bit lower and you're leaning in, the idea is that you're getting that stretch through the whole frontal chain or like I said, the pecs, the chest muscles and opening up that shoulder. So the wider you can go and then the more you can lean in, you never want to stretch till you feel uh, discomfort, but you do want to feel that stretch to get a result. Wide and deep. Wide and deep, baby. <laughs> Alright, and then do you have one for uh, the hips or doing that rotation? Oh yeah, so what you want to do with that one is basically everything through your torso. Uh, a lot of people think of core as just abdominals, it's kind of a junk term, but really what it means is everything from your obliques, your abdominals, your lower back, and what you want to do is try to get some trunk flexion and increase your mobility with that. All right. Okay, so what you're doing is two different mobility drills that are gonna increase trunk rotation. So one of the first ones is you wanna lay on your side, have your knees bent at 90 degrees behind you, support your head, or if you have a shoulder issue, you can always lay flat like so. This position, then you're gonna place the hand out in front. What that's to do is to stabilize the upper half of your torso and to get rotation in the lower half. So from this position, holding your shoulder steady, you don't wanna fall over, lean in here, you wanna keep it nice and straight, and you wanna rotate until the bottoms of your feet are facing the ceiling, and then coming back to neutral. So you're getting that rotation through the lower half of the spine. That's your first movement right there, a bent knee twist. The second one is you extend your bottom leg out, you bring the top leg over the top 90 degrees as well. Now what this is to do is to stabilize and immobilize the lower half of your spine. The arms are together here, arms straight, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna rotate that arm as far as you can take it without this knee coming up. So you wanna get that rotation and follow the hand back with your head. What that's also gonna do is give you some cervical rotation as well, which you need in your neck as you're looking over your shoulder to make sure that you can turn or what have you. And doing that, and again, eight to 15 times for each one of those movements, doing that twice. Usually the best way to do this, you guys, is in bed. 
When you first get up in the morning, you have no complications. If you're at a gym and you're doing this, you can use it as a mobility warm up, or you can just do it before a ride. And it really helps to kind of lubricate that spine, all of the um, uh, neuromuscular associations in the back. And it's gonna provide you with the ability to be able to rotate and then look over your shoulder, get the job done and stay safe. So thanks, Jimmy Varner, for coming out and showing us those great exercises for motorcyclists. Thank really you. appreciate it. Thank you, brother. It's good to have me. It's good to have me. <laughs> <laughs> good to be it's good of you to have me. So thank you, Jimmy Varner, for coming out and teaching us some great exercises for motorcyclists. Thank you, Jason.